the whole world can't stop forever, 50 to 70% of all of us will get exposed to it. The numbers of people who are ultimately going to be exposed to this are probably get the same whether we shut down our society or not. Where did this come from? How did it emerge? If I were to tell you what I know about this, this YouTube channel would be banned. There's a lot of misinformation out there. People need to understand that's being propagated by the media, the government, by people who don't have any medical knowledge. The worst thing for people is to sit in front of the television doing nothing but being filled with anxiety and not eating well, not exercising, because guess what? That will really damage your immune system. And if your immune system is damaged, when you get this virus, you're going to be much sicker. So we need to take care of ourselves. And part of taking care of ourselves, one thing that's very obvious, if you're a smoker, stop it. Use a patch, do anything. One or two puffs on a cigarette literally paralyzes and alters the little fine cilia and epithelial cells in your airway and lungs so that it can't clear viruses and can't clear bacteria as well. Number two, eat well and take extra vitamin C and zinc together. There are some formulations together for that. Vitamin D is helpful. There's all this phobia about sunlight, but sunlight has UV radiation, which actually denatures and kills viruses. So it's very nice to be in UV. And actually there are UV radiation things that you can put over things to sanitize. A lot of people don't know that, but ultraviolet electromagnetic radiation does denature, it kills the virus. So that's something to remember. The other thing that works, not that I'm suggesting people become boozers, but alcohol works really well. The other thing that uh, is isn't 100%, but is actually pretty effective is pure lemon juice. Lemon juice is very sanitizing and it actually does kill viruses. So the virus doesn't go through your skin. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna go through your hand. It's that if you get it on your hand and you touch your nose or your mouth or whatever, the problem is if you have gloves on doing something, it's not going to go through your skin, but it can be on the glove. And then if it's on your glove and you touch your face and your mouth and your eyes and your nose, you can infect yourself. The response to this and the virus itself may have a more devastating effect socially and civilizationally and how we live and our livelihoods and what have you than the virus itself. But that's where we are. And I don't control the edicts from the federal or state government. I'm here to tell you as a doctor, what the reality of this virus is and how you can respond to it, but also to respond to it in a way that keeps yourself in a not panicked at all and in a positive state of mind and connected to other people to the extent you can safely so that you stay strong and you stay healthy and your immune system is enhanced. As I said, exercise is key to that. Good diet is key to that. Avoiding bad drug use and smoking cigarettes in particular. I think the deadliest drug there is out there by far is cigarettes. You know. I mean, we lose about half a million people from cigarette smoking every year in this country, in the United States, around the world. China, it's even worse because China is now the worst users of the uh, most abundant users of cigarettes because we got everyone in the world addicted. American tobacco companies got everyone addicted to the damn th horrible stuff. So um, be very careful about that. And I think the other thing is there's this amazing immune response uh, and strengthening of the immune system that happens when you go into deep meditation which is actually more powerful than sleep. So the meditative state and connecting to this expansive aspect of ourselves as conscious, that actually is really strengthening to ourselves physically as well as mentally, psychologically, spiritually. The meditative faculty, the ability to sit, and be quiet, and meditate, and go into a, a deep state of relaxation and connect to that aspect of awareness that is beyond your individuality, which is actually infinite. That's what samadhi is, is when you have a very deep meditation. But even some sense of that, where you become calm and centered and feel relaxed and expanded, that is like a super boost to your immune system. It also creates field coherence with the people we're with, but all over the world. 